Welcome back to the channel, Tutti here, and we've not been taken over by Russians, which is a nice change. <laughs> the previous month's episodes debacle that went on, but um, we've got a, a, some nice bits to go through. I've got an unboxing, another unboxing to do live on camera, um, but we were stalling out at the Black Country Games Market Games Fair uh, last Sunday the 17th. Briley Hill Combat Arena Archery Centre. Um, for those that may know or not know or not even care, uh, I was supposed to do the first one. This was the second one that the, the wonderful people at Hidden Chess Gaming put on. Uh, Ant and Dana, or Dainster and Ant Harper, retrocollector.co.uk. Um, it was a good event. It was a good event. It was well laid out, etc. It just lacked bodies uh, i think we can all probably agree on that and like i said to, to dane and Ann, it's probably just the middle of the month you know i've been doing these these markets these fairs now for a good few years and the middle of the month ones really don't get much traction it's it, it's just the wrong time for everybody i think um it doesn't do with the location definitely nothing to do with the advertising you know um i think if anything the guys had, had probably put way more effort in than previously i just think it was a timing thing i think middle of the month stuff is kind of like a no-go end of the month beginning of the month you probably do all right um but in terms of setup arrangement um you know and stuff like that i think it worked really well it had a nice flow to it um there were some great stalls there there's a guy opposite um darren and myself well sort of opposite to the left and he was selling these really cool like movie merch that would have been like painted i think he said they were 3d print 3d printed and then painted um but they're like baby yodas in like halloween masks and freddy krueger fired and stuff like that pretty damn cool and he had some nice uh, neon lights as well um if things had gone differently in terms of sales i could have been tempted could have been tempted by one one or two of them because they weren't very big you know um sort of yay big and you kind of would hang them, but I've got, I've got no obviously wall space, I'd be hung off the shelves, but look pretty damn cool. Um, and again, like you know, you had independent sellers, which I like to see, just sort of smaller traders like myself, you know, like Eddie was there and, and, and whatnot. Um, Craig Goodwin's place came up, he had some wonderful, <laughs> wonderful bits of tat. I said, just need a tinkerer. Uh, to turn up and by all, all accounts he did really really well he said people were more interested in the in the tub of like broken bits on the floor said so, exactly um so it was really horses for courses i think and uh i think eddie i think i've just watched eddie roller course video and he alluded to it the actual sort of setup fee if you like with with, with the guys at hidden chest is far far lower than than the other vendors so although you you, you know in this instance didn't make quite um, quite the money that we had done in, in previous years of previous events. The actual outlay, in that way, is far lower, far lower. So it just needs to be dropped, I think, at, at the right time. Um, and I think that's what happened in the first one in Feb. I think it was probably the, one of the only ones that was in and around that time as well. But they'll sort it out. They'll sort it out. They, you know, the smart guys. Well, Ant is anyway. Dane is just a moaning bastard. But I really enjoyed it, honestly. Um, for me, it was just like, just talking to everybody and having a laugh and having a crack. Uh, nice to see Claire the Retro Bear. That reminds me. Um, she, she, Claire, very kindly gave me an Ickle Bear. Now, I got confused because I thought this was the bear that she that's always on the, the pictures. Of, she's on all like the social media things. Showing the stuff that she's fixed and repaired. But she said, no, these are the ones that she's 3D printed. She's given these away, so I'm going to stick him up. Or her, I don't know, is it? What's, it, what's its pronouns? It. Up on the top there with me with a little sticker collection. Um, so, yeah, really thanks for that, Claire. Claire took away um, one of my prize machines to, to do her magic on. So uh, that'll be in another vid at some point. We'll stick stick the little bear up there we'll stick claire up there although my wife's called claire as well so it's a bit odd uh russ was obviously there uh, lingering around uh looking lost 
no, Russ was there. Nice to see Russ, or slightly less talkative. Um, probably too early for him, uh, I think. And I, I think sometimes when you're helping out, rather than having your own stall, you, you kind of feel a little bit detached. Uh, I know that the odd occasion I've done that when I, when I used to stall out and help um, Rob and stuff. And it's not your, it's not your stuff. It's kind of like a bit weird in that way. So I kind of get that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Who else did I see? I seen for the first time I met um, Mike. Now he was John Retro Kits, like best mate. I've not met Mike before. It was really nice to meet, uh, see Mike, and I've, I'd had a good chat. I'd had a good chat with loads of people, um, and I've seen he's on YouTube. I didn't, I didn't know he was on YouTube, but I think I found him now. So um, great to see Mike, and um, yeah, I'll be following you, mate. Not, not, not a problem. Um, sold a few bits. I had um, <laughs> those that went with a scene. I had like boxes and boxes of of the tat, and I was just trying to knock them out. You know, like six games for like six one pound games for a five pound or six two pound games for a ten pound and it depends how you word it um they kind of went okay i think um again with more bodies they probably would have probably shifted more but um you know people sort of say oh still had this massive stall but a lot of it was shit a lot of it, well i would class it shit but there were some games there if you're into your ps3 ps2 like again all like the lower end stuff stuff that cex would probably sell for 50p or no sorry one pound 50 um and then i didn't give you like 50p for it or whatever i'm just knocking out a quid each stuff like that so some nice filler stuff there but unfortunately not enough bodies um i'm bad off i forget somebody new i spoke to um you had the usual suspects that, that attended big game now <laughs> don't know why he's going he just sells everything I'm just waiting for that 360 to go up on ebay when he runs out of content to make um Paul Wink Northern was there, Snickers Gaming was there, uh, Retro Ed was there, say Eddie and his missus uh, Dylan were there. Uh, I can't remember who else came wandering around. The few of the people. But what we did, what, what, well, I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything from the event. There was one game I was kind of. Woman and I about. Uh, apparently, the, the, the chap was there last time. He had some nice bits. He had some nice bits this time. I think he's from Gibraltar, of all places. But he wouldn't budge. He literally wouldn't budge on on, on a price of a game, and which it was it was going to eBay rate. Right? I just thought, you know what, I've not really done as well as I'd liked. Um, so I kind of like just held back. I thought it, it can wait. It's not that important. But I did a trade with with uh, Daz. So ages ago, uh, I gifted him uh, a twenty six hundred. And he was he was talking to me about this on the way up, about how his missus has um, done well at the uh, at the charity shop. I said, "Oh, it, it, I think it's the one I've already got because I've got a couple of these." But it turns out it wasn't. Uh, again, it's just a weird curio. I'm not going to do anything with it. But it's an official GameCube sort of holder bag. But it's like a rubber rubbery, <laughs> so you can wipe it all down. But it is official, you know. And it's by BDSA, BDSM. But yeah, it's just a it's just a weird quirky holdall. No need for it. <laughs> Absolutely no need for it. But I had to have it because it's weird and it's different. Oh yeah, I am. Uh, uh, is it Marcus? Dad and lads. I'm sure this is this will be going at the H when people walk off of camera and come back on again. I'm only reaching over there, Marcus. I'm not getting up and walking away. So the other thing that I got I got gifted, uh, essentially got no space got gifted this um speaking to a chap there his name's paul um and you know as you're to and fro and going past just conversing the other occasions he's having a parade that, that the crap i've got um and he basically said that he's he runs a t-shirt company black country gaming black country gaming t-shirts black country t-shirts black country gaming t-shirts should know because he's got it written down here but anyway long and short of it all is i had a really good chat with him sound bloke um and he kept reminding me of someone not in his uh, like physical appearance but in his, his voice and his mannerisms and it's not till i got back home and i realized he, he his, his his voice his tone of voice his accent reminds me of jay cyber snake 
they must come from the same area of Birmingham. They've got to have, I'm telling you. Um, but we were chatting and he sort of said, look, if you wouldn't mind, I'd, you know, I'd like to give you some some of my stuff. that he, 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 He's got a business, like a, a printing business, essentially. I said, yeah, sure, you know, I'll give you a, give you a nod, I'll give you a shout, Paul, not a problem. So he very kindly came over with a bag of, bag of swag, essentially. And, and this is him, it's, it's not the Black Country retro gamer, but I'm sure it's called Black Country Gaming T-shirt. Um, but yeah, like, look back, what, he, what he showed me was the high score up the top here, if you turn upside down, spells boobies. Neat. I like that. But inside here, I, I say I'll, I'll rattle through this because, um, you know, it's just it's just some nice bits that he, that he very kind of gave me. Look, you know, Black Country mug. It's all sort of like, um, uh, what do you call it? Pop culture type things. Some socks. You always need socks. All this Black, black Country logo because that's what Dana and Ant were, were um, you know, using for their, for the event, essentially. There was a, a, a tea towel. Um, what else did he give us? Oh, here we go. Here's the, here's the thing. Oh, fine. So we've got some some pin badges, some of the pin badges, some darts. Who plays darts? A pen. The Boston Black Country. And then we've got some out here. This is what it is. Yeah, look. Custom work, workwear. Backcountry t-shirts. There you go, look. But basically, the design, they'll print and design anything. So all you, all you fucking wannabe YouTube mega stars, here, yeah, look, go and, go and give Paul some of your fucking money. He'll print it for you. And then we can take the piss out of you afterwards. Um... But yeah, he's in 74 Long Lane, Hells Owen. Or like I say, just email him at admin at blackcountrytshirts.com. Get your shit on. Oh, this is the other thing. I was looking at this. This is quite funny. It's like a card of all like all the sayings. If you pause it, you can have a look. And see how many you can name. I mean, there were some there that I didn't... Proper Yampy. Obviously, you know, that's mad. What was the other one? He was... Snetter, Snetter's an area. There was loads of weird quarry bonk. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Paul, thank you very much, mate. I honestly appreciate that. And uh, hopefully, someone will come and buy some of your stuff. Oh, give me a key ring as well. So nice to meet Paul. Give me two secs. I'm going to have to tidy this up because it's all gone fucking everywhere. And we're back. Right. All sorted, tidied. Okay, so on to some of the pickups. Um, I say nothing from the actual market itself other than those, those two bits uh, from Daz and Paul, so I really do appreciate that. Oh, meant to say, I'll put Mike's channel uh, down below, so please go and check him out, give him a sub. Um, I, I don't really know any much about him in terms of his YouTube because I didn't know him, if that makes sense, so it's all new to me. Uh, but we have got some weird and wonderful, the weird and wonderful... Um, but what I'll start with is just off the back of, I think it was last vid. Um, I told you it'd be a rabbit hole, didn't I? The, the awesome box of Stu Generation Pixel, Super Game Boy box set. Um, I haven't just left it. I've been working my ass off in the background. So I managed to get, I already had a loose cart of FIFA. I think, did I mention that? I can't remember. But I, I, I bagged the manual anyway. So we bagged the manual. I did... So I was looking for just a manual and, you know, they're like five pounds. But I ended up managed to buy a whole box, a complete box for a tenner. And I was like, well, I've got to buy another manual. So I ended up buying another manual anyway. Um, so I've got a box FIFA to show at some point, which is probably pointless now because I've just told you. But that's for the, the Super Game Boy box. Off of Facebook, um, I bought a bundle of like... Oddity carts, I suppose. Uh, it was only really this I, I thought I'd have. Well, this and the other thing here. Um, like a Game Genie and stuff like that, which I'd already got. So, uh, you know, bag them up, take them to the market. But I did bag a Super Game Boy player. So that can go in the box now. So we're, we're, we're slowly building that and completing that set. Um, but along with that, and again, not something I'd got, was an action replay for the N64. So we'll just add that to the... To the other pile of, of crap that 
that I don't need. Um, but I think, you know, these these are odd because there's there's been one or two that have been like a tenner and then the rest are like 25 quid or whatever. So I had like 15 pound odd in my head um, and I bought this and two other bits. I think it come to like 40 odd quid. So I thought, well, if I divvy up and move the other bits on what like 10 pound a pop, then it's cost me what I kind of wanted. Uh, that's how I work it in. That's how I kind of justify it in my own stupid head. Uh, but I don't think I've got an N64 sort of Game Genie action replay thing. It's not something I had back in the day either. Because I had the Z64, that had like built-in cheats in it, within it. So, And then talking of the N64, I paid the kind of going rate. Not as cheap as I got the first one, but I thought... I'd already missed one out for about the same price. It was like 40 quid. Um, so I thought, just get it. Just get it. There, is, there was, probably was one. I don't know if it's still on there. Another one on eBay. I think for like 30, 35, but the box is in nowhere near as good condition as this. So for me, Australian black uh, twin controller pack. I'm looking over because that's where it is. Uh, I did get the clear purple controller box. It's not the same one. I wouldn't like to. You know that, guys. I wouldn't lie to you. Um, so that's to go into that. So all I'm missing from that set now, I think, is just a box N64. And I'll be damned if I haven't got one under the stairs. Um, I know I haven't got a, a SNES control set box. So I can't complete the Super Game Boy set yet. I know that much for a fact. I should really get under the stairs. Maybe that's a video for another day. Um... Then we've got some bricks and mortar. I bought a few bits from a shop. Uh, didn't, you know, obviously when in, oh, we go into this, the local gaming shop. And he, he, he tends to have bits and bobs that come in. Um, I always ask him just in case, because he doesn't always have everything out. So he had these behind the counter. A box of game gear. Jimmy Retro. I spoke to Jimmy Retro. Game gear reminded me of Jimmy Retro. And I nearly had a great bargain from the shop but it's a shop it, you know he, he had the box on the floor he picked it up i sorted through the ones i didn't have and it went off a price them. um but it did me a great deal on the ones that i did that, that, that i thought i didn't have i bought more than this um but i don't keep a running total of the game gear it's kind of like in my head and it's obviously not a very good list because <laughs> uh how many was there of them like half of them i'd already got but it's no bother no bother so it was some loose carts for the game gear, all loose carts, and there was a couple of manuals. So one that I got in the manual was Shinobi 2, and I obviously got the loose cart. But on checking my box, boxes for Shinobi 2, I didn't have it. I didn't have the manual, so that completed that. So winner, winner, inadvertently um, did the right thing there. So the list of loose carts are uh, Asterix and the Secret Mission. So a lot of these are a game, a game boy, fucking hell, uh, uh, Master System ports. Some aren't, some are. F-15 Strike Eagle. Pair Rangers. And with Power Rangers, we got the uh, Man of the Wow. And then the big, the sort of more expensive, the most expensive one, if you like. Was it Battle Toads? So that didn't get a Master System uh, poor. So I ended up with like 10 carts. Uh, there's a bunch of others here. I'm, I was going to take them to Black Country and I forgot. So I'll be taking these to Oxford. Ah, I forgot to go to Oxford. Uh, but 50 quid. I think on eBay that one's 32 on its own. So, you know, I'm quite happy with that. And I had a handful of, um, handful of carts to take. I'll show you one. handful of other carts to take. Quite nice streets of rage. Chess Master. Smash TV. Indiana Jones. Had to get that. Fantasy Zone. And uh, Shinobi 2. So yeah, just to show you, it's not the same one it is. So yeah. But I say those ones are all duplicates. So I'll take them. They'll be going to Oxford probably. Most definitely. Try and get a couple of quid back. You know, so it makes them worth cost me even less um yes this coming saturday so i don't know if then when i'll get this video out hopefully before then uh oxford gaming market um 
don't know anything about it. I think it's new. I can't remember. We've I've definitely never been to that one before. So we all knew. Um, if anyone wants to come along, then please feel free. Details down below. Again, I, I think I've been saying this for a couple of couple of vids now. Um, but you know, it's kind of London way, isn't it? So then further north of the Midlands, probably it's probably too far a journey. I would guess. Right. A couple of uh, purchases from a fellow tuber, uh, old holster, holster TV, into a streaming now, not really into a retro gaming as in terms of the pickups and stuff. Uh, doing a thing, she's doing a thing. Got a lot of time for holster, really have. But she put these on Facebook, um, along with two others, I think there was four in total, the other two I had. I asked her what her best price was. She like shot me a, a price back, I was like, done. Uh, I still owe a bit of money, I hopefully... I was hoping to pay her back after Birmingham, but I'll have the, I'll have the money definitely after Oxford come high or high water. Um, two cracking PC Engine titles, really are. Um, the first one, I had to check to see if I had this, because I was like, damn it, have I got that or not? I don't, and it's basically it's Wonderboy. Um, so those that don't know, Hudson Soft developed Wonderboy alongside Sega. I think they had a falling out, something happened. Um, so... Uh, Hudson, I think this was the original, the original version, and then Sega put their spin on it. I think they reskinned it. I think that's the way it went, not the other way around. I think a lot of people think that Hudson Soft reskinned Wonder Boy. I don't think that's the case, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but any roads up, so we've got Adventure Island, and this is basically the original Wonder Boy in all but name and skin. <laughs> Literally, all the levels are the same. You can see him run up the hill. Gets on the skateboard, everything the same. So, from all accounts, it is a really good port version. However, you want to work, you know, look at it. Few cards, so there's, there's not a great deal to show there. But it is a, kind of like one of the the weirder, quirky ones. It does have um, the pictures on the back. But there's a few of these. Obviously, these are on the uh, on the SNES as well, Super Adventure Island and, and whatnot. So, not just um, you know the, the home of PC Engine, if you like. And then the other one. And she did point this out, but I thought, you know what, for the price, she said the price is reflective of it. I said, yeah, no, let's do it. It's not massively. Uh, and this is PC Engine uh, Bonk. Air Zonk. Air Bonk. Air Zonk. Air Zonk. And it's a CD version. I have the Hue card version of this. I don't think there's a great deal in it. I really don't. But those, as you can see, it's a little bit sun faded. But the price that Holster did me these for, I'm not going to argue. You know, lovely condition. I did have to change the front, the old front of that, because one or two of those little tabs snapped off. But they're just CD cases. <laughs> not a big deal to CD jewel cases. So a couple more bouters. Two really nice PC Engine games there. I don't think Holster really watches nothing. Like I say, she's into a streaming. But if you do, appreciate you, bud. Thank you for that. And we're back. Okay. So I had to move up stuff around because these are relatively big boxes and I'm working in limited space. Um, ages ago, which market was it? Oh, I can't remember. James from Retro Import Gamer very kindly gifted me Defender. Defender board game, m and board game. And um, I've been saying for ages, oh, I've got some of them in the garage. I need to dig them out. So uh, ages ago. Now, I went in there, dug them out, dug the boxes out. Not what I thought I had, kind of thing. More doubles than I realised I had, uh, stuff like that. So it started me on another rabbit hole, trying to like, complete this sort of like subset of MMB, Milton Bradley board games. Won't mean much to any of the younger guys out there, but those of a certain age will, will appreciate these. So there was basically, there was two that I was missing, but three, because one of my ones was not in great condition. So all off of eBay, and I've got some cracking bargains. I think they're all about 10 quid. All about 10 quid. So the first one that I managed to bag, and it, it, this was from um, like a charity eBay shop or whatever, and it's Turbo. So based on the Sega arcade game, these, these are all complete. I'm not going to bore you getting them all out, but they are really nice. A lot of these ones are corners blow and pop and, and stuff like that. So we, we got Turbo, and then... Um, 
I managed to, to, to find this and it, it, it was still sealed. Unfortunately, the wrap, the seal wrap that it was in was just degraded. It kind of like trapped some moisture at one point. I'll show you it. But everything counts. It, obviously, it's brand new, essentially. Um, obviously, it took some sort of um, environmental damage, I suppose, from being in that seal where it had been, been trapped. So it's a little bit like, I'll show you. Anyway, it's centipede. So where it started to, where the seal had broke was down here. And then you can see, see if I can show you, just on top here, see it there? I think that's just from where, I don't know, not the heat, the moisture had got underneath the seal. But uh, it still smells, it smells new. Um, but yeah, 10 quid. And it's brand new sealed essentially. And then the last one, which I think must have been whoever sold this, they I think they've opened it and then put it together and then sold it bizarrely because it's got all of the um sprues. So the sprues are like what the plastic bits come on. This one it, a week ago, week and a half, two weeks. It took me it took me ages to find this. Everyone was wanting about 30 quid for this one. I don't know why. The ones that were around the ten pound mark all had bits missing. Bided my time, waited, 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 and I got this, I think, for just over 10 quid. And it's berserk. And again, this is in really, really nice condition. So, James, thanks for spending more than money. So, what that gives us, because I've had these down here for fucking ages. And I believe, so double check this with James. This is all of them. I think that is all of them. There are a few. There are a few um, American. American only ones. I wouldn't mind getting them. Just because I'm fucking stupid. Uh, but you've got like expensive ones like the Zelda one. You've got Jungle Hunt. Uh, there's Donkey Kong one. Um, you know, there's some quite tricky and because they're coming from the US, it's the shipping is going to be a killer. But that's quite a nice little selection, isn't it? Berserk, Centipede, Turbo Frogger, Pac Man Defender, Donkey Kong, and Zaxxon. And they're all complete. So, like I say, thanks, James. <laughs> right, how are we on 30? Last, well, it's probably not 30, it's probably less time than that because I've been pissing about. Last thing now, unboxing. Um, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just going down another fucking rabbit hole. I should have gone down years ago because these things would have cost me half the, half the um, price. Maybe. I'm out of breath after lifting that up. Running around. Right. We have another box. <laughs> There's a box within a box. Yeah, I've bought an empty box. Let's speed this up. <clears throat> We're in. So, obviously I know what this is. But there's bits in this that may be missing and I don't know. So, I'm kind of like hoping that one thing is in here that kind of wasn't advertised. But I'm really hoping that the guy didn't know to show it. But what we have... It's probably one of the better looking console boxes. Is the Super Mario All Star Super Mario World box? It is. It is a nice looking box. It's got a, a tiny bit of damage along here and on here. Seventy quid. I think about seventy quid off eBay. And it's got a couple of little puncture wounds. Well, obviously, something's fell on it or some shit. But I mean, I'm not about to push that one back out make it look less less horrible now this comes with two poly two um polystyrene trays i believe they're both in there but but from looking online the other tray one of the trays is supposed to come yeah it doesn't oh, shit. someone needs to tell me if this is right or not so you've got your two your two poly trays now <laughs> I think that this one, which holds a console, 
and it's just a SNES console tray. It's supposed to come in a white box that just says uh, Nintendo on it and this, that, and the other. You know, quite like just the codes, but it's all plain white. Um, so that's like your Super Nintendo on its own. And then this tray just holds the game and the manual. That's all it's for. But I was hoping that the white box was in there, and it's not. Clearly, it's not. So, although to have both of these and in the box in, in this condition, it is, you know, it's not bad because I say the ones that I've looked at are quite faded because of the yellow. Because <clears throat> of the yellow and the blues, it, it, it fades quite badly. But this is really vibrant. So, so it's got two little puncture marks on it, and I can try and um, fix them. That bit there, I can't out that. It's obviously where someone's just pulled some tape off, but again, overall condition. It's really nice. So I need a Super Nintendo, which I've probably got a Super Nintendo. Um, again, trying to piece this together. It's obviously got the multi-cart, uh, the twin the twin cart. It's not like the two cartridges are not separate. It's the, um, the double game. He says we're trying to find is it's a double game that's eluded me. That one. It's that one. So we need to find that. I've got some of the paperwork already. I just in my spares pile I had the Super Nintendo instruction manual and stuff like that. So it's really just a SNES. Uh, looks like one controller, the hookups and stuff which I've, I've got. I said, I've probably got a SNES in the garage somewhere. Um, yeah, and then I just need anybody, anybody's got one of these, just double check for me. Is yours just the polys? I mean, it feels quite full. I don't know if you could be able to get another box in there, but I have seen a picture of one or two where the SNES part of it comes in its own white box, almost like a, a you know control set size, but just plain white. It might not be. Maybe they did a couple of variations. Maybe maybe they dropped that box to save money at some point, and this might just be a later one that didn't come with the box. Um, but yeah, let me know, guys. Other than that, hopefully I'll see you at um, Oxford Gaming Market. Take it easy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.